Charles, tell us about your role at Burrell. So I'm the Vice President Digital Lead at Burrell Communications. We're a, a full service advertising agency that focuses on building meaningful connections with African American consumers. Aside from that, I'm also tasked with evolving the practice, uh, making sure that we're doing the best work we can as an agency and also developing talent. So as I'm sharing all this with you, you know, it, it sounds like a lot. Um, and to some people it might be, but for me it's really exciting because it allows me to uh, have an impact on the pieces of business that I touch and the, the people that I interact with on a daily basis. And to me, at the end of the day, that's what this is all about, is really making an impact. That's great. So you mentioned that everything is changing in your business, as it is for all of us. Yeah. But you guys have a particular focus, and we had this discussion with Adele yesterday, and she gave us some insights into, into how multicultural is a little different than general advertising. But from your chair, from where you sit, how are the changes affecting your business? I see a lot of what I call lazy marketing. And you know, we live in a world where there's these two realities, where we have seemingly unlimited data and we have consumers who expect personalized um, experiences and communication. And on the other side, we have clients who uh, prioritize speed and cost efficiency and are really focused on the bottom line. And they're not taking full advantage of the resources that exist. Let's talk a little bit about digital specifically. Sure. Okay, and tell me how your business has changed even over the past 24 months because of mobile media and, and all the changes in social media and so forth. You think about something as simple as, as social media or even the broader online video space, to me, a TV spot has no business in those spaces, yet you see it over and over again. Uh, advertisers need to get smarter about the content that they develop and uh, when they're going on a commercial shoot, as an example, capturing a variety of content that can be repurposed and used in different ways for all the different uh, spaces that you know, you're looking to build that connection with consumers. How do you get a brand comfortable with things like failure when they're really compensated sometimes on, on just consistent success? Part of it is really being able to develop that concise, compelling story as to why, why this is good for the business. Uh, and I think where a lot of agencies and even advertising partners uh, are not meeting the mark is they're not able to develop that story. You know, it's that old Einstein quote, if you can't explain it simply, you, then you don't know it. And oftentimes, as, a, as I think about our media partners, uh, throughout the years I've challenged my teams to challenge our media partners, tell us a story in six slides or less. And you know, PowerPoint's the bane of our existence, but it's really critical to be able to, to tell that story very quickly and efficiently so that we're able then to communicate that and express that to our clients. Absolutely. Cool. Well, next time we get together, it's a, it's a discussion about comic books. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm, I'm all for that. Uh, <laughs> Until then, thank you so much. Good talking with you. Thanks for having me, Mitchell. Great conversation.